much of today's video starts out as an analog signal so a working knowledge of analog standards and formats is essential for understanding digital video and the digitization process fundamental topics which are necessary for understanding analog video are one broadcast standards second video signal standards third video storage formats fourth digitizing video and fifth is digitizing audio in this video we are going to study about video signal standards black and white television receive one signal called luminance which is also known as y signal each screen pixel is defined as a sum range of intensity between white that is total intensity and black that is no intensity in 1953 the ntsc was faced with the task of revising their standard to handle color to maintain compatibility with older black and white sets ntsc set a color standard that kept the luminance signal separate and that provided the color information required for newer color television sets in the digital world colors are typically expressed using red green and blue that is rgb the analog world has also embraced the rgb standard at least on the acquisition side where most cameras break the analog signal into rgb components unfortunately the ntsc could not use rgb as the color television standard because the old black and white sets could not decode rgb signals instead they had to send a luminance signal for black and white sets and fill in the color information with other signals which is called hue and saturation and is also known as u and v signals for this reason digital color technology uses rgb and analog color technology especially broadcast television uses yuv that is y u and v signals figure traces an analog video signal from capture to ntsc output on the far left is the rgb capture in which storage channels are maintained for each of the three primary colors rgb however is an inefficient analog video storage format for two reasons first to use rgb all three color signals must have equal bandwidth in the system which is often inefficient from the system design perspective second because each pixel is the sum of red green and blue values modifying the pixel forces an adjustment of all three values in contrast when images are stored as luminance and color formats that is yuv format a pixel can be altered by modifying only one value component video maintains separate channels for each color value both in recording device and the storage medium component video delivers the highest fidelity because it eliminates noise that would otherwise occur if two signals were combined in one channel after ntsc encoding the hue and saturation channels that is u and v signals are combined into one chrominance channel that is c channel a video signal called s video carries 
separate channels for the luminance and chrominance signals. S video is also known as YC video. All color and other information must be combined into one YUV channel, which is called as the composite signal and is to play on old black and white televisions. Technically, a composite signal is any signal that contains all the information necessary to play video. In contrast, any one individual channel of component or YC video is not sufficient to play video. A video signal can be transmitted as composite S video or component video. The type of video signal affects the connector that is used. The composite signal which carries all the information in one electrical channel uses one hole jack called the RCA phono connector. The S video signal composed of two electrical channels and uses a four pin connector called mini DIN connector. Finally, the component signal uses three connectors.